In this video, we are going to be looking at what functional groups and homologous series are to help differentiate between the two terms. First, let's begin by discussing what functional groups are. A functional group is a group of atoms which characterizes organic compounds. What they do is they usually determine the chemical and the physical properties of the organic compound which they constitute. And by doing so, it helps us to identify and name organic compounds. Here are some examples of different functional groups. Here we have the alkene functional group, which is characterized by the CC double bond. Alcohols have the general formula ROH, where an OH hydroxyl group is connected to a carbon chain. A carboxylic acid has a general formula RCOOH, which itself has a CO single bond to an H and a carbonyl C double bond O group. And an ester consists of a CO carbonyl that's connected by a single bond to an O, which is bonded itself to another alkyl chain. So what are homologous series? Homologous series are a group of organic compounds which have the same functional group. These compounds differ by a constant unit, which is usually CH2, and we'll look at examples of homologous series. Another important characteristic of a homologous series is that they share a general molecular formula. And since they have the same shared functional group, they also have similar chemical properties. Within a homologous series, the boiling point and the melting point will generally increase with molecular mass as we are adding the CH2 onto the end chain of the particular functional group. Here is a graph which demonstrates the boiling point of various alcohols with increasing chain length. We can see that as we increase the chain length, we are adding more and more CH2 groups onto the length of the chain. In doing so, we are going to be increasing the boiling point, and similarly, we should expect to increase the melting point. The boiling point increase can be attributed to the fact that the alcohol is now able to form more dispersion forces as there is a longer hydrocarbon tail. We'll now look at some examples of different types of homologous series. Alkanes are compounds which consist of only simple carbon-to-carbon -carbon and carbon-to-hydrogen bonds. These types of bonds exist in almost all organic compounds, and alkanes do not have a unique functional groups. They have the general formula CnH2n plus 2, and as we look at the structure of the alkane homologous series, we can see that with each subsequent member, there is an extra CH2 group that is added to the end. Alkenes are compounds which contain the C-C double bond. They have the general formula of CnH2n, and the homologous series again differs by a CH2 group. Alkynes have the general formula CnH2n-2, and have a characteristic C-C triple bond. Alcohols are characterized by the presence of an OH hydroxyl group. They have a similar general formula to an alkane, with an extra O attached to it. It's important to note that just because there is an OH in the structural formula of a particular compound does not necessarily mean that it is an alcohol. Aldehydes are compounds which have a carbonyl carbon as a terminal carbon attached to a hydrogen. If we look at all of these compounds, we can see that the chain length increases in the number of carbons. And on the terminal end, we always see that there is a carbonyl carbon attached to an H. The general formula for an aldehyde is CnH2NO. Ketones are compounds which also have the formula CnH2NO. However, their carbonyl carbons exist in the secondary position rather than on the terminal end of the carbon. Since they both share the same general formula, ketones and aldehydes are what we call functional isomers. Carboxylic acids have a characteristic COOH functional group. The COOH contains a carbonyl carbon and OH, but as mentioned previously, they are not alcohols despite the presence of the OH group. The reason for this is because the presence of the C double bonded O carbonyl group changes the relative chemical reactivity as compared to an alcohol. Carboxylic acids have the general formula CnH2NO2. Esters also have the general formula CnH2NO2. 
This functional group contains a carbonyl carbon that's singly bonded to an oxygen, which is then bonded to another alkyl group. Since they have the same general formula as carboxylic acids, they have the same relationship between aldehydes and ketones in that they are functional isomers. What is different about the ester homologous series is that given the same general formula, for an n that is greater than 3, there is variability in the formula. For example, in this case, C3H6O2 can indicate both methyl ethanoate as well as ethyl methanoate. However, they are both members of the same homologous series. Amines are compounds which contain a singly bonded nitrogen in place of one of the carbons. They have the general formula of Cn, H2n plus 3n, and we can see that is consistent in methanamine, ethanamine, and propanamine when we substitute these numbers into the general formula. Amides are like amines in that they contain a nitrogen in place of a carbon, but they cannot be classified as such because of the presence of an adjacent carbonyl group which is similar to the relationship between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. The reason for this is the same in that the adjacent carbonyl changes the chemical reactivity of the amide relative to an amine. This example reads, explain why the following compounds are not in the same homologous series. First, we should identify what the compounds are. On the left, we have 1-chloroethane, and on the right, we have 1-1-dichloropropane. Both compounds contain the same functional group, which is the chlorofunctional group. However, they do not have the same general formula. The 1 halo alkane has a formula of CnH2n plus 1Cl, whereas the dihalo alkane has a formula of CnH2nCl2. This final question reads, which of the following is a homologous series? In answer A, we have three compounds that are of different functional groups. We have an alcohol, an alkane, and an alkanoic acid, or a carboxylic acid. In B, we have an alkane and two alkenes. In C, we have a haloalkane, a dihaloalkane, and then a trihaloalkane. As we said previously, despite the fact that they contain the same functional groups, they are not a homologous series because they do not share a general formula. However, in D, we have three compounds which differ only by a CH2. If we draw out the skeletal formula for chloropropane, we can see that chloropropane, chlorobutane, and chloropentane differ only by the single carbon bond.